What's up? This is Brent Pierce with Cineblur.com, and I'm going to give you a couple quick tips inside Final Cut Pro. Uh, I'm going to show you how to paste attributes from a clip to other clips. So, in this first clip, I'm going to add a, well, I already got a three way color corrector, and I'm just going to color correct it uh, just for demonstration purposes. I don't know, make it funky like that. Let's also add, oh, maybe some circles you know that's a great it's a great filter there that's that circle I don't know what I'm doing okay so that's cool and let's go into motion and just for the heck feel let's scale them down so I've got this clip here scaled down and it's got this filter on it and I want to add it to the rest of these clips so instead of you know copying the filters up here and then pasting it in each clip and then going to the motion tab and doing all the stuff that I just did to each clip I'm going to copy the attributes and paste them to the other clips. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to click this clip and I'm going to copy it, Command C, and I'm going to select the clips. After that, I'm going to press T to get the track forward tool, hold shift, and that'll select all the tracks. And then go ahead and click it. So I've got all these clips selected and I'm going to go to edit, paste attributes, which is also option V. Click that and it'll ask you what you want to paste. I'm going to paste um, filters. I added those few filters and also basic motion, which is the scale. I'm going to do that. Scale attribute times doesn't matter because I don't have keyframes in there. If I had keyframes, it would scale the keyframes length based on the clip's length. So press OK. And you'll see that every clip has that cool little useless filter on it. So. That's kind of cool. Now, a real-world use for this, you obviously wouldn't do that for all those goofy filters and stuff, but a real-world use is audio. Um, you know, you need an EQ for audio, and, you know, I've, I've cut this guy's voice up a lot, so I'm going to EQ the first clip, I'm going to make sure it sounds good, and add an EQ and a compressor and a gain. Now, that's pretty standard for a dialogue clip. You know, you want to EQ him so he sounds good. And then you want to add a compressor to compress him just a little bit so his voice isn't as dynamic. And then you want to add a gain just to kind of get his levels right. So that's normal for that. So I'm going to select this clip, Command-C to copy it again. And then I'm going to select the remaining audio clips. And I'm going to do Option-V to paste attributes. And this time I'm going to select audio filters. Uh, and then you press OK. I'm going to press Cancel because I've already done it. So now you have the same EQ on all his voice. So there you go, paste attributes. Now the next quick tip is a pretty easy one, but a lot of people overlook it. It is called scale to sequence right there. So say I've got this sequence, it is 1080p right now, but let's say the client wants to see it in 720 by 405 because clients are difficult like that. So press OK and now you see that your clips are way too big. Now you could scale them like that, you could go through each one and scale it, but you know that's going to take a lot of time, especially if you have a ton of clips. So the easiest way to do that is just select all your clips, go to modify, scale to sequence, and then there you go. All your clips, if I bring that up, all your clips are perfectly scaled. Now you may notice that I have option S as my hotkey for scale to sequence, and you probably don't because I did a custom one, and the way to do that is go up to Tools, uh, Keyboard Layout, Customize, or Option H, and then type in here Scale, and it's the only one on there, Scale to Sequence Size. Now, I routed it to Option S because Option S does not have anything on it by default. So the way to do that, go to your Option tab up there, go and unlock your keyboard, get your Scale to Sequence, and simply drag it to S if you're under the option tab so that that will route it to option S let go and then there you go so next time you need to do it just select all your clips option S and then there you go scaled to sequence alrighty hope that helps